Baltrov, Gahinasir, Agaskuji, Fail in the Guach, Fierul, is Misha Kathleen Nikonola, Agaspasha Vagal, and in Shola Charlumsa. Amajin Chai Kilhobnet, not a hostas much for you, not familiar with the Inisir dialect. You're very welcome to this virtual walk as part of Fail in the Guach Festival 2020. So we're going to make a start here at Kilhobnet, one of our old sites, an old monastery site at Kilhobnet here in Inisir. So, Shaday Kilgobnet, Shay Pelin Nivgobnet, Saint from the 7th century. We are told she came from the Burn in County Clare and spent some time here with us. She subsequently left and went down to West Cork and Kerry. So, we revere her here as one of the early saints, not the earliest, but one of our earlier saints. And her feast day is on the 11th of February. Women in particular on the island came to Gobnet's little church. It's a very peaceful spot, particularly people troubled by family issues. Um, in this site here, we are told there's a grave here and two more here, where there's a bishop and some priests buried. This is limestone and here we have a cross over the altar of Kilgobnus Little Church, and you see the cross inserted into the stone of lime, and another cross over overhead here on the second stone up. We're not, we don't know too much about these, uh, the writing on these, except that it looks like the letter R and some other shapes that is fairly common in, in, in monastery sites. So this is the little church, it's a small little space, and dedicated to government. This is the beehive hut in the Kilhobnet site. So the beehive huts were where people lived at that time. So obviously they were made totally of stone, built up stone over stone and roofed of stone. In this particular case, most of the roof is missing. Over years, cattle have grazed this field and obviously to make sure they didn't fall in, some stones could have been moved to the side, but by from nature anyway, a lot of the stones are, are gone, but you can still get that sense of the this first stone starting to move in towards the centre. We know this perimeter wall around Kilhobnet here is actually a lot older than Kilhobnet itself the little church. So this site is pretty, is a very old site, the whole area around here. And down on your right, you also have Tabor Hobnet, which is not that accessible at the moment. Another feature is that you will often find the tree, the throne, the elder tree, close to these type of sites. So, in Chai, Tabaraina, Tabar Nivaine in the Nasir, Tabar Bani Esha, Vichdin, Chachtancha, and Fana Katebli. And so this is St. Endus. Well, we could still call him Aine, uh, even in English. So Aine was one of the earlier saints to come to the islands. We're not sure he was the very first, but he was here in 465. And um, he spent some time on the islands. Um, People still come to revere and pray at his well here. So this well, it's very difficult actually for it to run dry. We believe it never runs dry and it really doesn't. So um, his feast day is in March and but throughout the year people come to pray here. And obviously this, this site is probably a lot older than, than Aina's time because a source of water was also very important to our, our ancestors. And a lot of people have remarked on the circular hole here in the in the stone, which to them indicates that maybe it's an even older site than the Christian site. But obviously as a source of water, it was of great importance. And also across the road, we have a site called Kwachan Aina. Aina is more recognized for spending time in Inishmoor, the bigger of the three islands, but he is the patron of all three islands as a group. Um, there was a time in the past when the popes gave 
special indulgences to those who came to pray at old sites and, and monastery sites on the islands. This was one, a tourism of a different type. So, should I call her name? Ban and Chelish and Champolain, um, Tabarain, Ramachisege, Erbal. So, this is a uh, part of the site of Neve Aina. And one of the things we know is that uh, Aina's sister suggested that Aina should come to the Aran Islands. Um, his sister was a friend of Neve Monine, who is supposed to be associated with Kilna Shachninin, also an old site here on Inisir. And of course, we know Aina was a chieftain of his tribe and brought his men into battle and a lot of things before he totally changed over his life. So we don't know that much about Plachanaina. It's not recorded as a mon as a monument site, but here on the island we know where it is. And also there is a bigger area next door. There's a field with lots of mounds and and muti, as we call them in Irish. So I would imagine the whole site was part of the one one area. So this is the clock Queen O'Han. Lack Queen Ohan dedicated to people lost at sea and erected during one of Fail in the Gloch um, weekends. A line from Martin O'Geran's poem is on this memorial stone de dedicated to people lost at sea uh, off our, from our island, even from the other islands. But just in, around this area, people who lost their lives to the sea, and the sentence says in Irish, Maid in the Gwyn, Fosa Maigna. It's a line from Martin O'Geran's poem, one of his poems. Uh, Martin O'Geran was the Inishrit Moor poet. And it's say, basically saying that the memory of them is still in my mind. So basically, we haven't forgotten them. So it's a very nice memorial stone on the western seashore of Inisir. And because it's in a bit of a, what people might call a remote area, but it's a place where we walk very regularly, it's a, it's a very good place because it gives you time to think about what you're, what you're recalling to your mind and the people as, as you walk past. So we're here at Crookrani, an early Bronze Age site and also subsequently used as an early Christian site. The early Bronze Age site was uncovered during 1885 as a result of a big huge sandstorm. And this whole area of the island had big sand dunes in it at the time. Gwiri or Murivach as we would call it. And it was due to overgrazing subsequently that uh, the sand blew away during sandstorms. So what was uncovered by the Royal Archaeological Society as they were on their excursion from Belfast down the western seaboard and they landed here and they found cremated human remains in urns. And these are now in the museum in Dublin. <laughs> 